if I had more background. Background! <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions unit. I'm Corbin. Huh? You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. It's and so juicy. Account, with the next squad. <laughs> follow us on our personal YouTube channel, so in the description below. That was for you, Dad. Anyways, uh, <laughs> today uh, we are reacting to a video. This is traditional Gotham, Gotham making. Got them, got them. That's an uh, that, that, that's, uh, an instrument, right? It's the clay pot hammer. Booyah! So this is how they make those pots. Woo! Um, read this. Uh, Gatam is one of the ancient musical instruments from Tamil Nadu. This instrument is made of a mixture of clay, mud, and metals. This is a brief documentary about the making of Gatam by a family in Madamadurai, Tamil Nadu, who've been in this profession for four generations. The matriarch of the family, uh, the late Mrs. Minakshi, got Sanjeet Academy Award for Gatam making, for making more than 100 Gatams over a period of 45 years. It must take a long time. Probably. Let's check. And three generations of Gatam musicians. Uh, once, when was asked by a Gata musician, why do you do this? It is so difficult. Her answer was, my responsibility, if I stop, how will you play Gautam? No Gautam player will come to my home and leave empty handed. Her legacy is now carried on by her son and family. Viku Vinayagam, who played with Zakir in Sakti concert, <coughs> buys his Gautam only from this family. And I remember you guys wanting to know how it was made. Yeah, absolutely. Because it was super interesting. It really, yeah, because uh, they're, I'm sure that's very... a particular tune, uh, and they take a beating and don't crack and break. So they've got to be tempered, I'm sure, in some way, which is why there's metal in there. So this, I can't wait. Here we and go. Only a hundred. Yeah, hundred. It seems like a years, little, but I'm sure it, they must. It must take it a must really, take a long time. really long time. The source. <laughs> Clay pottery on a wheel. Oh, you've never done it? Never done it. The place that the Tepec village did. They do it? Is it? Really? Yeah. Just six kinds of clay. Why not five? Why not seven?
satisfying thing. Hoping for more. There we go. 
அதனால இந்த கிடத்த வந்து ஆதாயம்னு இல்லாம நாங்க வந்து கலை நோக்கத்தை வந்து ஒவ்வொரு <laughs> That's the signal he's going to say that everywhere you hit it, it doesn't matter, you get the same tone. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I was hoping we were going to get more from her. Sorry. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's, so... So you do this whole process, which probably takes hours or days. A couple or of days. Whatever. And you're not even guaranteed that it's going to, one, it could just break in the fire. Right. Once it's done all that, might, might not be the right, right tune. tune. Yeah. Also, how long are they tuned good? Because obviously a guitar, if you keep playing it, it's going to get out of tune, right? You probably need to tune it every day, right? Yeah. Every time you play? I well, guess that's what I see, guitars. Yeah, you regularly, every time you pick up the guitar, you're checking it because it may have gotten out of tune for any m number of reasons that can contribute to that. So how long does it take for it to get out of tune? Because I'm well, I'm sure, obviously it's clay and it's not string, which is a much more durable. No, but I bet it has to be kept in certain conditions in terms of weather. Like I bet you don't want it exposed to extreme heat. Mm. Um maybe the baking process puts a protective coating on it so that the only thing that would happen would be it could like crack but i yeah like how long do they last like do you have to after 20 years do they maybe lose their tone or does it get better with age maybe and then you have to get another one but now i understand why she's only made up meaning a hundred are in circulation so and then how much does a magnificent work of art like that cost yeah can i buy one yeah like I, I i would imagine these are quite pricey but he said that he's not in for the business true so it might not cost a lot that's true that's very true he, they may not charge a lot for him and i don't i don't know like what's obviously a, what's a lot in india is not a lot here right it's like if can i buy one <laughs> i might <laughs> And I don't know how much they are. And I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't I know if these even, people order. I can't even think of a comparable instrument that I know of. Because all of the other instruments I can think of are either covered in some type of a skin mm -hmm. for percussive instruments. Or they have a string. Or if it's a harder instrument, you blow through a reed or you just blow directly into it. And they're usually made from brass or wood. So I can't. So they, think they, of, there's a lot of African instruments that are like this. Mm -hmm. So this is on some site musician mall. It's out of stock, but it's only $155. $55. So that would be... But I, I don't... And it's... They're probably, they're probably not even making it. Roughly between 11 and 12,000 rupees. Gotcha. Uh, which for an instrument is <laughs> not, not a lot. It's nothing. Uh, a guitar... An American the guitar, guitar for example. Yeah, like this, my guitar is a Taylor, and this guitar is probably, and I say probably because this was gifted to me years ago, this Taylor was probably in the ballpark of 1200 bucks. Mm -hmm. And that's normal for a good Taylor. It may have been $900. Those are Gibsons, right? You can, yeah, you can get, and it depends on the, again, it depends on, I imagine, and they're not in it for the money, so maybe... You know, like when you buy a Taylor compared to a Yamaha, a Taylor is going to be way more expensive than a Yamaha. And your first guitar is almost always going to be like 
a Yamaha guitar because you can get a learner introductory guitar for two or three hundred dollars mm-hmm. uh, American. But if you want to get into the nicer guitars, you're going to be in the five, six, seven, twelve, fifteen hundred, and then the top of the line guitars that aren't like limited editions or signed are going to fall into the neighborhood of two, three, four thousand. When you get a guitar that's like a, a Fender signed by Paul McCartney, you're you're talking ridiculous amounts. And of most of those are machine made now. Yeah, most are machine made. They're not not, not all of them hand made instruments. There are some obviously that are handcrafted. Yeah, but this is obviously just a family. And they they say that one of the guys we watched who was incredible on the pop uh, on the Gotham uh, only buys from this family. From this family. Yeah. Dang, that's impressive. It is. Watching that right there, that was just, that was artistry. Yeah, that was really cool. Well, let us know all the, to answer all the questions we have. And uh, if there's any other videos uh, similar to this one, let us know down below.